Hi there and welcome back to Shadowrun Returns, the Dead Man's Switch. I'm Baron, and this will be the last video of Caprice's Adventures, I think. We have uh, defeated all the bugs. Now we just have to speak with James Telesian the third, and apparently Caprice has 21 karma points to spend. Woohoo! Well, what do we want? Well, since willpower and spell casting has already been maxed out, I think we're gonna put it into body. Amazing! So, who could we talk to? I guess it's only James Telestrian the third. Yeah, I guess so. And after we broke up the ritual, Caprice chased Jessica into a small chamber where she was cornered by a couple of buggers. Guess they weren't impressed with her performance, they were about to eat her. And? And Caprice says something like, I won't let them eat you, Jessica, you're coming with me, you're going to pay for what you've done. It was very dramatic. Then we splattered the bugs and handed her over to the UK's FBI. They're going to want to have a long talk with her about the Universal Brotherhood. So this nest is clean out and your cousin, cousin Lynn is being transported to a mental hospital for observation. Oh, she survived. That's amazing. James assesses you with a newfound respect. Very clean. I believe our test of Project Aegis was a success, Caprice. Herr Brackhaus is having it weaponized now for distribution to knight errant forces. The authorities are going to have a great many questions about this incident and I will need to provide details. The Universal Brotherhood has a great many chapter houses and they must be dealt with immediately. What about my million Nguyen? Wait, let's see, what happens next? That is for others to determine, people other than you. Still you have turned in a yeoman's effort and regardless of your obvious flaws you are deserving a reward. What would you ask of me? Not much, just McCluskey's badge. Telestian's ice breaks for a moment. You shot circuit an invasion of extra-dimensional insects and for your reward you wish to have an insignificant police detective dismissed from his position? Haha! <laughs> I don't like his aftershave. No, I'm improvising. I've been through a lot this week. Still, the guy's a jackass. He smiles an icy smile. I cannot disagree. He displays a rare combination of root and psychophant that I cannot abide. Psychophant? Very well. Detective McCluskey is now Citizen McCluskey. The man grates on my nerves anyway, and since this action requires little more than a nod to the proper payer, and you may ask another boon of me. I'm feeling generous today. I want to get paid. Real money. He smiles an icy smile. I would expect no less from you. Mr. Kuth, please make a suitable bonus for our friends, Kretstick. A bonus of such size that additional negotiations are unnecessary. I have no interest in furthering our relationship. Well, you might need her again. Yes, sir. He takes your cred stick and slots it into his PDA. 100,000 million. Wait, I got 1 million divided through 4. That's 250 grand. Looks like you two are best buddies now. So, let's talk, I don't know, to Coyote. Guess that's it, huh? You captured Sam's killer and now he'll get his justice. And all that's left is to get paid. What will you do with the money? Save it. You never know when you'll be down on your luck again. You don't seem like the type. Creative grins, first time. Well, I'm gonna grab Paco, head back to the Union, maybe watch a trip or something. And I could use a long shower too. After that? Hmm. 
You could learn the business take over for Miss Kubota someday. She gets a twinkle in her eye. Someday, maybe, when the rest of my body is made of metal too, but not today. Today I run the shadows, get paid, get dirty. See you around, Caprice. You're quite a lady. I can honestly say I've never met a dwarf quite like you. Let's talk to Harlequin. The painted elf is watching the scene unfolding around Universal Brotherhood with a grimace. Well, kid, it's been fun, but I've seen everything I care to see today. I'm gonna get out here. Is there a problem? He gestures at the crowd as he speaks. Look around. Note the members of the press being shuffled away by the by Universal Brotherhood spokespeople to get a private briefing. The Brotherhood is connected. A damage control team is probably on the way right now. Think they can control the press? One way or another they will. If they can't be manipulated, cursed or bribed, they'll probably disappear quietly. There's more though. He nods his head towards James Telestrian. Note the expression on the ECAS FBI agent speaking to Telestrian. Dismissive, isn't it? That's because there's no love lost between the UKAS and Tyr Tangaya. They're not going to trust what he's telling them, and frankly I have no idea what he's telling them. James plays his own game, always has. The FBI isn't stupid enough to ignore this. Harlequin rolls his eyes. No, of course they're not. Government agencies are well known for their perspicence. What? Perspicacity? Perspicacity? I don't know. And there is no racism in government. That was wiped out in the 20th century. This is getting fun. But I mean, this was a threat leveled, you know, this was. The threat level was global. Let's put it this way. This threat was leveled at, levied at the entire mankind. Doesn't matter whether it's human. Elf, Dwarf or Wendigo. So I guess the Yukas has to respond to that. He points at someone in the crowd and smiles. The man sees him pointing and smiles back. That guy there? He's with Ares Macro Technology. Enormous Megacorp, ridiculously powerful. Uh, even the Megacorps have to respond to that threat. Because, well, they can sell shit to bugs. Ridiculously powerful. They've been sniffing around Project Ages for quite a while now. Clearly they have an agenda that's just starting to unfold. He gives the Aris man the finger, the man smiles and returns the gesture. Government, media, business, all working to ensure the truth stays hidden. Not from me. No, not from you. You're a runner, that's the idea. But it's not the giant machination, machination it appears to be. In a way, it's worse. It's a series of conspiracies, conflicting agendas and petty jealousies all building upon, feeding upon, and excreting into an unending web of drag that people wade through every day and call it life. If there was one dark lord controlling everything and we could drive a magic sword through his heart to free the world, that would be grand. Such clarity, such focus. Alas. So what's the lesson in all of this? That I did all of it for nothing? No, mankind survives now. He loves. Just the opposite, schmuck. The lesson is this. The game is rigged. The cards are stacked. The dice are loaded. It's the same as it always was. Every cycle. People in power exert power. Little people cover in their homes, think what they are told to think and buy whatever product will help them forget how terrible their lives are for another day. And that's why we don't play their fracking game. We don't swallow their drag sandwich and politely ask for another. It's why we run the shadows. That's where real life is, kiddo. Reality is living in the places no one wants you to see. Where's her Buckhouse? I thought he'd be here too. He flew back to Berlin. All sorts of things brewing there. He was very impressed with you though. I could probably turn... It could probably turn into work someday, but I'd forget about it if I were you. Never make a deal with a dragon kid. They are playing a different game entirely. Okay, seriously, who are you? A friend. Until I need you for something, then I'm a bastard. <laughs> See you around, Harlequin. He's funny. Hey, McCluskey! Citizen McCluskey! <laughs> McCluskey is alternating with trying to look important and trying to avoid actual work. 
What are you looking at, Shub? Hey, McClusky, I got good news for you. Is that right? Yeah, you got to take the rest of your life off. What you talking about? It's a special prize for assholes who mess with the wrong person. It means you're fired. No terrestrian, no lieutenant's badge. In fact, no badge at all. Enjoy your time off, Chama. What the? Mr. Telestrian? Hey, Mr. Telestrian! Ah, well. <laughs> Bad news, eh? Hey, Jake! You're on the wrong side of the fence. Jake shakes his head, smirking as you approach. When you finally get close, he breaks out laughing. I heard the Universal Brotherhood was getting shot up on the police scanner. Knew it had to be you. Did you get her? She is in custody now. Ah, just as it served. He scratches his mop of red hair. I guess that concludes the story of Caprice and the dead man's switch, eh? You know, I've been thinking maybe you should stay in Seattle a while. There's plenty of ways folks like us can get into trouble here. You only skimmed the surface. I heard Mitsuhama is looking for a team and they especially want a woman. No idea what's that about. And I just got word that something's going on at Crater Lake. The tears got it on total lockdown, no fly zone, the whole thing. There could be something in it for us if we poke around. And there's always the Orc Underground. Haven't seen that yet, have you? I got plenty of friends there who are good for a job. Something's bound to come up, what do you say? I'll think about it, Jake. You do that. If you want to find me, I'll be at McCraken's later. Got a taste for good seafood. Take it easy, chummer. So, let's talk to Dresden. The little coroner is surprised to see you, but he can't hide his delight. Hey, Caprice, I was wondering if I was going to see you again. I guess I shouldn't be surprised to find you here. How Dresden? How's my favorite body snatcher? Busy. He pops his eyebrows, eager. You know, it's all over the trivet, right? They found the Emerald City River dead at some asylum out in Snohomish, of all places. Turns out he'd been masquerading as a head administrator or something. They found him dead from some sort of vigilante attack. He leans in and whispers conspiratorially. But you wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Why, Mr. Dresden? I have no idea what you mean. <laughs> Dresden wings. That's what I thought. <laughs> well, no one can see. <laughs> you didn't have it coming, am I right? He frowns at himself. That was a double negative. So, the big question. What about the dead man switch? Now that the river's dead, are you going to collect? Damn right I'm gonna collect. Excellent, I'm sure you deserve it. How do you collect? I was told I need a secure line to call the number Sam gave me. Can't use my comlink. He brightens. Lone Star's emergency response team set up a secure phone line right here to coordinate the effort. I can authorize you to use it. Thanks, Dresden. Don't mention it. Take care, Caprice. So, what now? I guess that's the thing here. The secure phone line. One last quick save and we make a phone call. The phone before you has a simple numerical keypad. You can use it to call Sam's law firm and cash in on the dead man's switch. Call the law firm and finish the job. You tap in the phone number Sam's lawyer gave you days ago. The phone rings seven times before someone finally answers. The image of the lawyer on the other side of the video is noticeably different from the one you saw a few days ago. The noise in the background sounds like it's coming from a bar. Hey, now you have a tattoo. Yeah, he squints into the phone and recognition slowly appears on his face. Oh hey, it's you Caprice, right? So, so you got Sam's killer, huh? Yeah, I got Sam's killer. That's, that's great, hang on, let me slot Sam's video for you. He fumbles for a moment and the camera jerks crazily. 
Then it goes to static and is replaced by Sam. Good old Sam. And there's probably no money involved and that guy is not really a lawyer from a very respected law firm. Stem still looks like drag, same clothes, same background, probably shot at the same time as the first video. Hey buddy, looking good, looking good, he giggles. If you're calling this number, that means the job is done, right? He closes his eyes, shakes his head. Congratulations, amigo, I knew you'd do it. You are always the dependable one, more than me anyway. He looks back at you, trying to speak soberly. I, I just wanted to say thank you for whatever you did. It means a lot. Not even knowing what you did, it still means a lot. Because I know you did something. You know what I mean? I know you made it right somehow. He pauses, tilts his head back. His breath hitches in his chest. You're the only one. The only one who ever gave him, who ever tried to help me. Ever. Except my sister. She tried. More than once. She tried. I never let her though. Never let her in. I regret that. A lot. Did I ever tell you about her buddy? We're twins. We're twins, I guess. You s you're still a twin after one dies? I don't know. Doesn't matter, I guess. He sighs. Heavy. God, listen, do me a favor, will you? If you talk to her, her name is Jessica. Tell her I'm, a I'm sorry, okay? For everything. She'll know what for. She's Catholic, so she'll forgive me. I, I need her to forgive me. She killed you, buddy. Just tell her I love her. He straightens himself, shakes it off, the grin is back. Anyway, you need to get paid. Which would be great, except for one thing, I got nothing. Never did. You know how it is, right? Sorry, but hey, thanks again for giving crap. Seriously, I appreciate it. Yeah, I kinda expected that. Tell you what, if you feel sore about it, look into my family background a bit. There's gotta be people with money in there somewhere. Maybe one of them can throw you a few bucks. Take care, amigo. See you in hell. He reaches forward and shuts off the camera. The white screen goes, the vid screen goes static and the call ends. There's a moment of silence and then you feel a tug on your jacket. It's Dresden. So, what did he say? Thank you. He just said thank you. The Emerald City Ripper killings are sensationalized for several weeks. Lurid reports focus on the killer masquerading as the admi administrator of Mercy Mental Hospital. Soon after, pop singer Maria Mercurial is cast as the lead in Dr. Ripper, a trivet thriller about a reporter who goes undercover as a mental patient to uncover a serial killer. Seattle Newsnet uh, reports a shootout at the chapter house of the Universal Brotherhood. Witnesses claim that a gang of religious fanatics stormed the building for unknown reasons, but committed suicide before they could be captured. All mention of insect spirits, James Celestine III or Shadowrunners are kept out of the news. One year later, the city of Chicago declares a quarantine area between Lake Michigan and the Des Plaines River. Officially, Chicago Containment Zone is established to fight an outbreak of an infectious virus, but an infested of infected spirits is suspected by those who know. Of insect spirits is suspected by those who know. A mature form of Project E. Aegis called Fabs 3 is eventually deployed to remove the bug threat from Chicago. The world's family name has since been lost to the shadows. Okay, my friends, that was Shadowrun Returns the Dead Man's Switch. Oh well. <sighs> I mean, it was okay. I was aching for a Shadowrun game like the next guy. I mean, it's not like we had a plethora of these in the last years. But it wasn't... I mean the RPG mechanics in this game were really, really weak. I mean you had... you couldn't in 
There's a lot of the world that you actually couldn't interact with. It, sometimes it felt more like a point and click adventures where you click somewhere here uh, to uh, get an item or some information to accomplish something else a few meters away. It didn't really felt like there was a whole world you could explore that had much to do with the with the high amount of linearity in this game. It yeah, felt more like a, a corridor shooter these days. And you couldn't... I mean, in an RPG you need an inventory um, that's something that this game had. It's also uh, that bugs me a lot in Oblivion. Um, when you find an Oblivion, when you find a sword, for instance, in Oblivion, it doesn't really feel like you find an actual sword, but it feels like you find a sheet of paper with the letters "sword" with the word "sword" written on it. And that's the same here. Uh, you don't really feel like you find stuff. You feel you find like sheets of paper that has stuff written on it. It doesn't feel real somehow. It may have something to do with you not being able to interact with the world as much as you wanted to. It may have something to do with not being able to interact with your party at all. Uh, I mean we had Dodge on our party and it could have been just another 0815 dagger. Sorry, there's nothing spe there was nothing special about him. There should have been a lot of spe specialty about it, but it wasn't. So yeah, the, the RPG mechanics surely leave a lot room for improvement, let's put it that way. But the story was good, well written, interesting. Of course there were some mistakes, there was a lot of text in the game and there were some mistakes too. But the story was good, the characters were very well presented in the story. The whole atmosphere was good. So it was an okay Shadowrun game. It was not a good RPG. But I'm really looking forward to the Dragonfall expansion because I've heard that that is supposed to be a lot better. Especially in the RPG um, department. We shall see. I surely hope that this is true. So yeah, we will continue um, in Dragonfall, but we probably won't see Caprice there, you can't import your characters, wouldn't make much sense, she's maxed out. There's not much room, of course you could increase other stuff too, but it's not really worth it, I mean she's overpowered now. And I'm not gonna play a mage in Dragonfall, I, want probably, I will probably play a uh, Street Samurai because I want to do some um, cybernetics. Yeah, do some cyber here. Well, Volkskommissar Friedrich is actually wrong. It would be Volkskommissar. There's a genitive, genitive S in the middle, and it's written together. Are those the kick the Kickstarter backers? I didn't wasn't paying attention. Probably. It's too large to be the crew that made this game. But I, I just hope that the people who back this game are satisfied with what they got. I got this game cheap. I, by, I bought it at Gox homepage and yeah it was cheap and I'm satisfied with what I invested what I got out of it so I'm cool Streamboy Advance yeah there's gotta be the Kickstarter beggars That could mean opfer if there are 
the, the E, the I was missing. Opfer means victim in German. <laughs> Generic name 21, that's nice. Sasha Weissenfels, that's a German name too. Although Sasha actually is a Russian name, it's short for Alexander. Back at A. Is this revolving? I guess so. Yep, it's revolving. Fine. So that was the Dead Man Switch. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see each other in Dragonfall. So, well, take care and goodbye.